All right. So for those of you the other night, I believe it was Monday night, who watched my PSA for Boyish Men, um, it has since gained a little bit of traction. Uh, I also posted it on Facebook, and I think it's sitting at about 1.5 million views Got right now. Got a stretch now. to so get into obviously, this. Obviously, it picked up a little bit of talk, a little bit of chatter, uh, a few haters, which is okay. Not like I'm not used to that. I'm very used to it. But I did want to clear a few things up about that video and just expand on it a little bit because that's always important. You can't ever say everything you want to say in 15 minutes. And I've heard a lot of comments on it, a lot of praise, a lot of criticism. So I figured I'd just go through some of them if y'all are ready. All right. So first of all, the, some of the, the misperceptions and misconceptions about some of the things I said in that video that I want to go through real quick. First and foremost, okay, <laughs> I don't think all men are trash. And I also want to again read. So why did she say all men are trash today? This backpedaling is going to uh, increase significantly. It's almost as if it's worse than the original piece. She doesn't know when to shut her mouth. The distinction that I made between boys and men. There is a big difference between boys and men. And I'm not talking about an age difference. I'm talking about a mentality difference. If you are a man and you watch that and you thought that I was calling you trash, I will apologize for that because I don't think all men are trash. I don't think any men are trash at all. I think that some boys who think that they are men have a tendency, shall we say, in 2020 to not quite act the right way. And I'm not saying that girls act the right way, mind you. Okay, this is an equal opportunity situation here, but I'm not a dude in case you haven't noticed. I don't identify as a dude, I'm not a dude. So for me to do a video about how crappy women are in the dating scene, I really don't think I could offer you that much knowledge on it because I've never dated a girl yet, okay? So <laughs> I can't help you there. I'm not saying that girls are perfect and men are awful or boys are awful. I'm not saying that, never would say that. I'm sure that there are many horrible girls out there that do many horrible things. I myself am not perfect. I acknowledge that, I'm happy to acknowledge it. So I wanted to clear that up. Men, I don't think you're trash. I happen to quite like men and uh, especially real men who act like men and who treat so you can see that again she's pointing and sputtering the same that she did in the first video i only like real men if you don't comply with my rules and regulations and agree with me then you're a boy so if you don't agree with tommy right now fellas you're a boy that's basically what she's saying here this is you know this is Women, how they how she's the right gonna operate way. and i'm gonna get into that in a little bit but i want to clear up uh, some other uh, misperceptions about the video things that maybe you guys were confused about so i can help you out it was not in any way, shape or form about my ex fiance. We already know that now. So before we continue on here with her playback, I just want to shed a little insight onto who the uh, ex fiance is. So I've paused that. Let me remove from stream and okay, we've got to go stop screen. And then we're going to share this one application window, boom, share. Okay. So we don't need any audio for this. So, um, this is the fiance that, uh, she ended it with, uh, Brandon Fick. So, so you know who this guy is, uh, he's an ex, uh, professional soccer player. He's, uh, running for Congress right now. He's got coin. I don't know how rich he is, but he's definitely not poor. Um, by estimation from what I saw, it's probably worth a couple million dollars in and around what she's worth. She's she's not loaded by any stretch of the imagination. She's probably worth a couple million dollars, okay? Um, obviously money's right for both of them, so it's not a problem, but she ended the engagement with this dude over here. Uh, I'm guessing he's probably got the six sixes. He's definitely, he's definitely taller than her, so he's, I'm looking at a guy that's potentially six foot tall, he's fit, you know, probably has six pack abs, six month out of relationship, blah, blah, blah. But when you start to like drill down through what happened here with the two of them, and I think it's revealed in this article over here, um, said, so Lauren 27 at the time said she's not ready to settle down. And after discussed her feelings with Fick and they ended. So she dumped him because she was not ready to settle down. Now, 
the guy that DM me said she cheated on this dude with a country music star. Whether she did or she didn't, I don't know. But this is what he's saying from his firsthand experience. Um, she dumped him. She's She just turned 28, by the way. She's not 27, I think, um, on her wiki page. Her birthday is in August. So she is, in fact, 28. So she's, so she's at the epiphany phase. Like, she's running down. Oh, look, she's got a wrist tattoo. That's like the first sign of basic right there. Um, romantic relationship. I think there was a $50,000 ring. Oh, here's uh, dating a Navy SEAL before this guy. Oh, by the way, let's see if we can find out how this guy reached out or is in one of these two articles, probably in this one, then here it is. So this guy's a beta. This is why they ended up um, wrapping up this relationship or why she dumped him and, and, and ended the engagement. Um, let me show you where it is because apparently he DM'd her or he tried to slide into her DMs. Uh, LinkedIn profile, she said yes, blah, blah, blah. So Fick wrote on Instagram March that he first sent her a direct message. So, so this guy was an orbiter on her Instagram, slid into her DMs, uh, urging her to stay strong after she was criticized by Glenn Beck. I don't know what she was criticized for, but this is classic white knighting behavior, okay? Uh, I'm not doing this broadcast to like take down uh, who she is or any of those things. This is not designed as red meat. This is designed as a learning experience for you guys. So I want you to sit back, relax, and just take a couple of notes here so you can learn something about what uh, enlightenment having a red pill lens gives you as a guy. Uh, but, but anyway, so this guy slides into her DMs, urging her to stay strong after criticized by Glenn Beck as a white, as, as a good white knight that he is. He swoops in to save the honor of Milady. He also invited Laren at that time to dinner, and she never responded. Now, had she now she had probably would have seen it. I would imagine this guy has a blue check mark. Uh, what's his name? Brandon Fick. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, da, 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 Brandon Fick. I bet he's a blue check mark guy on Instagram. Okay, let's see if he's there. No, he's actually got quite a small following, so he's not a blue check mark dude. So it is entirely possible that uh, she might have missed it in her DMs because those things pop a lot easier for these. Okay, anyway, so no, wrong one. Scroll back down over here. I promise you there's a point to all this as we tie it all together. Anyway, so stay strong. Uh, criticize Blam back. Uh, Fix said the two eventually met in person nine months later. So nine months later, I guess there's some DMs back and forth. Um, made the most out of that chance opportunity. And that's it. The end of the article. What a terribly written article. Anyway, so they get together um, after he slides into DMs. Uh, white knighting. They get engaged for a couple of years. And then obviously she doesn't have a genuine burning desire for him. So she calls off the engagement. And let's go back to our little uh, rant now, because this is all relevant to what's going on here. Uh, Chrome tab. And I said what I said. Oh, hang on. I got to add auto. Give me a second. Stop screen. Share screen. Chrome tab. And share audio. Share. Okay. You guys should be able to hear this. Let me know if the audio is not coming through in the chat. Okay. My ex fiance is a saint. My ex fiance is a great individual, a great. So why did you call off the engagement? If he's such a great guy, I'll tell you why, because she saw him as a beta. He probably over those couple of years went through a process of betaization through a thousand concessions. Not, not a big enough dude for, her. he was not the best that she could do. Right. He was not, <laughs> I mean, we can go back to the Instagram and, and, look at his, but she's got something like a million and a half or 2 million follows. He's got 11,000. Uh, he's running for Congress. Believe it or not, this guy was not good enough for her. tall, handsome, running for Congress, ex, uh, you know, ex professional athlete, probably fit as hell. Didn't, you know, did not cut it for Missy over here.